Welcome to Narayasai Technologies, this is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to talk about how to read data from two files at a time. Maybe it is the same data or different data. Maybe same file, two files are containing the same data or different data. How it is possible? with the support of sequence input stream, with the help of sequence input stream. So, today our concept is how to read data from two files at a time by using sequence input stream. So, up to now we are reading the data from the file by using file input stream. So, this file input stream is useful for reading the data from the only one file at a time and data input stream this is also useful for reading the data from the only one file at a time object input stream it is also useful for reading the data from the only one file at a time but my intention is i want to read the data from two files at a time i want to read the data from two files at a time then we should go for concept like sequence input stream. So, let me show you something related to sequence input stream java p java dot lang dot java p java dot i o dot sequence input stream sequence input stream sequence input stream having one constructor like observe this one public java dot i o dot sequence input stream of java dot i o dot input stream comma java dot i o dot input stream. So, in this program I am taking this constructor support this constructor having two parameters this constructor having two parameters new sequence input to stream it is having two parameters it is having two parameters both are belongs to input stream only both are belongs to input stream only then what is the use of this input stream it is useful for reading the data from the file so most of the people feels like sequence input stream itself reading the data from the file it's not possible sequence input stream is taking the support of sequence input stream again taking the support of what your input stream sequence input stream again it will taking the support of what your file input stream object and file input stream itself file input stream itself reading the data from the file file input stream itself reading the data from the file yes so sequence input stream is communicating with the file input stream file input stream is reading uh, communicating with the file after that it is going to read the data from the file itself now how can we develop a program on top of this uh, sequence input stream very simple take notepad okay now here I have one class sequence input to stream demo class. Now, in this class, I am taking one method public static void main, public static void main, and here I have string array. Yes. Now, observe here. Here I am creating first, I want to communicate with the two files at a time file f1 equal to new file. Now, file f2 equal to new file itself file f1 equal to new file and file f2 equal to what guys new file itself new file itself now these file classes must and should be giving one name t1 dot t1 dot txt t1 dot txt and here t2 dot txt t1 dot txt and as well as t2 dot txt there are two file objects now sequence input stream demo dot java all files and where we need to save this one on top of the desktop yes this is our file sequence input stream what file it is right clicking on properties it is what here dot java file now observe guys i want to read the data if you want to read the data 
what we required file input stream fis equal to new file input stream file input stream fis equal to new input stream of f1 now file input stream file input stream fis this is 1 this is what 2 equal to equal to what is this new file input stream new file input stream what is that f2 yes now let me create two files by using operating system text document like this is what here t1 t1 otherwise delete this one let me take a notepad in the notepad i have kit i am saving this one this is what here t1 dot txt file next one i am taking one more one more file one more uh, notepad this is what here naresh it let me save t2 dot t2 txt files yeah two text files are created one is t1 and the one is what here t2 so let me right clicking on that properties what here dot txt only now what i need to do i want to read the data from the both the files at a time now sequence input to stream sequence input stream sis equal to new sequence input to stream new sequence input to stream what is that fis1 comma fis2 now fis1 comma fis2 now i want to communicate i want to read the data if you want to read the data first we need to take one local variable like i the data always coming in the format of what here integer now i want to read the data first while while i equal to how can i read the data sis dot read up to how much i need to read the data up to not equal to minus 1 up to not equal to minus 1 observe we are reading sis dot read sis dot read means sis is pointing to what here fis1 so fis1 is pointing to f1 and f1 is pointing to t1 dot txt first read the data from t1 dot txt later sis is pointing to fis2 and fis2 pointing to f2 and f2 is pointing to what here ts dot txt nothing but second time it will read the data from the very t2 dot text file now i want to read the data read the data in the format of int i am placed into where i and after that end of the file not equal to minus 1 if the if the there is if there is no data automatically it will give us what here minus 1 so minus 1 not equal to minus 1 condition is failed then y, control coming out of the while loop uh, other than if any other data is available then it will giving some positive number that is not equal to minus 1 so while loop always executing up to how much time observe system dot out dot uh, system dot out dot print ln no shortcuts in the notepad system dot out dot uh, print ln system dot out dot print ln what is that i want to print the data in the format of uh, care care of uh, i now let me delete this data now observe here in the karthik it i am taking one space good and in the naresh it i am taking what here one space so space is also one character now i am trying to read the data so whenever i am trying to read the data what happen observe go to desktop java c sis demo dot java now what i need to write here here we must and should be ended with what here semicolon now here we, we are going to face one more problem what is that one more problem you can able to understand by seeing this uh, error message yes what is that file input stream and uh, yes yes file input stream means it will asking about import statement import java dot io dot asterisk all the classes are coming to what here our notepad now now java c s s dot demo this is my intention what it will throwing one is file not found exception another one is what here i y exception so here we need to write here we need to write throws throws what is this throws i y exception now now clear the screen java c s s demo dot java now java s s demo now observe this one what we are getting first karthik it 
another one is what here Naray site first which file I am using FIS1 FIS1 is belongs to holding what here F1 F1 is holding what here T1.txt file let me holding let me open T1.txt file in the T1.txt file what we have Karthik IT so in the constructor first I am taking what here FIS1 FIS1 is holding F1 F1 is holding uh, t1.txt file in the t1.txt file what we have Karthik IT for example for example if you are writing like FIS2 FIS2 comma FIS1 then what happened first the data is reading from first the data is reading from FIS2 later FIS1 see the output is what here changed whatever the file we declared first from that file only sequence input stream is going to read the data so this is the way we can able to read data from more than one file i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe naresh id channel thank you